may ask, what is the difference between a systematic review and a meta-analysis? Or is a systematic review the same as a meta-analysis? In this video, I'll explain both of these concepts by using an example. We'll start with what is a systematic review? A researcher may study the effectiveness of balance exercises after an ankle sprain on the time it takes to go back to football practice. The research team will analyze the results by comparing the time taken to return to practice between the group who did the balance exercises and the group who did no home exercises at all. And then they'll publish their findings in an academic journal. This study is referred to as a primary or empirical study. Over time, many researchers and research groups generate new knowledge by performing similar primary studies worldwide. Therefore, um, there may be more than one study that investigate, for example, the effectiveness of balance exercises after an ankle sprain. These primary studies may be done uh, on different populations, let's say some in adolescent football players, others in fe female football players, maybe others in hockey players, university students, and so on. But then, one day, a group of researchers with a special interest in balance exercises will come along and realize that there are so many primary studies on the effectiveness of balance exercises that they decide to do a systematic review. The research group will then take all these primary studies and using a very systematic process to summarize the findings into one research paper, they will put together a systematic review. Then let's get to what is a meta-analysis. The research group who conducted the systematic review may do a meta-analysis as part of the systematic review. A meta-analysis is done by taking the results from each of the primary studies, pooling these results together and re-analyze them to look at the effectiveness of balance exercises across all studies. A meta-analysis can't always be done. To do a meta-analysis, the primary studies that are being pooled together need to be similar enough to one another. Or, in some cases, the primary studies consist of qualitative data, where, for example, interviews were done with participants, in which case no statistical analysis can be done. Let me know whether this explanation makes sense to you by leaving a comment in the comment box below this video. And also, if you have any other questions, please ask and let's see how we can help each other navigate this systematic review journey together. How do you know whether you're dealing with a systematic review or a systematic review with a meta-analysis? You'll often see the title of the publication states whether it's a systematic review or a systematic review and meta-analysis although it doesn't always feature in the title, so sometimes you'll have to read the abstract to figure out that there's a statistical analysis done. If it's not apparent from the abstract, you can scroll down to the full paper and have a look at the method section and the results section to see if a statistical analysis were done. To summarize, a systematic review refers to the summary of primary studies into one study, using rigorous and systematic methods, while a meta-analysis refers to the statistical analysis used to pool all the findings from the different primary studies into one analysis. Not all systematic reviews include a meta-analysis, but all meta-analyses are part of systematic reviews. If you have any questions around systematic reviews, see if you can find the answer amongst the videos in the systematic review playlist on the Research Masterminds YouTube channel, or feel free to ask a question by posting it in the comment box below this video. See you on the other side of this exciting systematic review journey. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.